is our own species, Homo sapiens, modern humans. Here is a skull of one of our nearest ancient human relatives, Homo heidelbergensis. If we compare it with this modern skull, some things just leap out at you. This Heidelbergensis skull has an enormous brow ridge and a swept back sloping forehead, much steeper in the modern skull. In fact, the whole brain case here is much rounder. Using the skull of the ancient human, experts have reconstructed his face to reveal our flatter-headed, beetle-browed predecessor. In contrast with this reconstruction of a very old but modern human, and I think you'll agree that she looks a lot more like me. But if East Africa is where the first humans were born, there are some big questions to answer. Are we all descended from black Africans? If so, why do most of us look so different? And how could a handful of people from such an isolated place go on to colonize first Africa and then the rest of the world? So what do we know about these shadowy first families? 200,000 years ago, it's likely there were so few of them living such a precarious existence that today they'd be classified as an endangered species. Life was fragile and the African savanna was a dangerous place. I'm going to be spending the night out here in the bush, presumably something our ancestors did all the time, but years of living in civilization have softened me. I've got a big torch here so that uh, if anything comes by I can get a better look at it in the dark. And I've got this little camera so I can make a video diary throughout the night and uh, talk about what comes along. I'm doing this for real, I'm going to be out here all night. And I really am quite scared. Is that a lion? Is that a 
got to be one of the most frightening nights of my life. I did get some sleep, but then I got woken up by these horrendous noises. Sometimes it was hyenas, 